Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how we can create object detection in real time in the Maple Story game itself. So what you're gonna get in the end is that you can you'll be able to detect monster in real time in the actual game itself. As you can see in my actual game, uh it is kind of laggy because my computer itself is relatively old and also I'm opening actually a few software. I'm opening the, the emulator as well as the OBS to record the videos. But if you are, but your computer should be should be able to perform relatively well. But uh, what you are seeing maybe lag will be less lag if you are not opening any recording software like uh, OBS to record what you are seeing. So yeah, as, as you can see, not all the monsters are detected. The monster can be even better detected if we are using a um, TensorFlow object detection to detect the monster. But in this tutorial, we will just be using OpenCV to detect the monsters. Another reason why the detection itself is not perfect is because the background itself is different at different locations. So if you try to try to match the source input there will be a lot of false positive and false negative due to the background. So basically what will happen is I will copy the entire code from the previous tutorial and make some minor adjustment to it. So I will define a function and uh, I will call it the capture image and I will give the small input and uh, this will be the small picture or the template input and this will be the larger picture or the source input so there are some changes that are made to the original code firstly i for the source input itself i did not use cv.imread instead i'll just big equals to source input and i will explain this more later on and also i will return rectangles after using cv.rectangles which is written grouping all the cluster of rectangles together and the, you'll get rectangles, comma and widths but for this case I will only be returning rectangles so in this case my template input would be slime1 so this is slime1 which are using a snipping tool to capture the image from the game itself so while true my screen, I will be using screen crop, screenshot equals to pi or to GUI dot screenshot. So basically what you will take is you will take the screenshot of the from the window that you have chosen. In the event that you decide you did not want to take the screenshot of the entire window, what you can do is you can choose the region that you actually wanted. So for this case, it will be pyotagui dot screenshot region equals to zero zero three hundred and four hundred, where zero refers to the left, zero the next zero equals to the top, and then width and height. So you have to change your screenshot into an array. So anyway, a video is actually multiple screenshot that is pieced together. So the more pictures that you have, the smoother will the, will the video be. So you have to convert the screenshot from RGB to BGR, which stands for red, green, blue to blue, green, red. So the reason why you have to change it is because OpenCV itself actually read the format from blue, green, red instead of red, green, blue. So yeah, you have to make the conversion so that the image or the screenshot or the video itself do not come out weird. The color itself do not come out weird. So you let rectangles which equals to capture image then you put your template input and your screenshot. So your screenshot will be your source input your template input refers to the slime one image that I've shown earlier on. As I said previously, what you will output is rectangles, which 
are the locations that you get after you group your cluster of rectangles together. So this part will be similar to the previous tutorial whereby you extract the x, y, w and h which refers the top left x coordinate, top left y coordinate width and height of the rectangle. So this will be the same as, as from the previous tutorial. Then you will use cv. I am show you let the the, the pop-up screen to be called matches and you will be displaying screenshot. So we'll include this line. By the including of this line, you can close the window or you can. Yep. So this is the end of my tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. If not, thank you for watching and see you next time.